So you're looking to get into a PhD program in the biomedical sciences, so immunology, biology, or like me, neuroscience. And maybe you have good grades or not so good grades. Regardless, there's one thing that all admissions committees really want to look for in applications, and that's experience working in a lab. Now there's a very good reason why committees look for experience. They want to make sure that you've been exposed to the day-to-day -day atmosphere of a typical research lab. Sometimes just seeing what the scientists do on a day-to-day -day basis is enough to discourage people from going into research. And that's okay. The committees just want to make sure that they're giving the positions to people who are really interested and who have already seen what it's like. They're really looking for people who are very passionate about science despite all the stuff that goes wrong in the research lab. All right, so how do you score yourself some of that sweet, sweet research experience? A lot of times it starts with a cold email. A cold email is an email that you send to someone you have no actual personal connection with. Maybe you found their profile page on the university website and you thought that their description of their research was pretty interesting. Maybe one of your faculty members had recommended this person. Or maybe you've actually read one of their publications for one of your classes or in your free time. Regardless, you know that you want to learn a little bit more about their science. Here's your step-by-step -step guide to writing a cold email. And by the time you're done with this video, you'll be ready to send out those emails to people you might want to work with. Okay, first start off with a nice formal salutation. Dear Dr. Blargy Blarg is a classic opening, you'll never go wrong with it. Hello Dr. Something Face. These are all standards, they're all gonna be fine. But you should definitely address it to the person who runs the lab, and you should absolutely spell their name right. Next up, one little sentence about yourself and your interest in the field. If your major happens to be that research area, now's a good time to mention it. If not, that's okay. Just mention any classes you might have taken in the past that might show you have some skills. So if you've taken chemistry lab, if you've taken biology lab, you can always mention that now. This section might look something like this. I'm a sophomore at Cuphead University, and I'm a neuroscience major, or I'm a junior at Anne Orlando College, and I've taken chemistry and organic chemistry labs. Now, you want a little bit of a connection to the research program. And this is easy if they come recommended to you by one of your professors. You can always say something like, my cellular neurobiology professor, Dr. Beardy, was a postdoc in your lab, and they recommended that I reach out to you. Now this section might be a little bit tougher if you don't have a personal connection, but there's still ways around this. This section might look something like this. I found your research program through the university website, and I became interested in studying your topic here after taking Introduction to Neuroscience. Next, tell them what you're looking for. Tell them what you want, and absolutely be honest here. I'm looking for a summer internship between June and August to work in your lab, or I'm looking for a paid research assistant position in your lab after graduation during my gap year. Here, I think it's really important to say if you're looking for a paid position or not. This will let the PI know your expectations immediately. This can also help them decide whether there's room in their budget for an additional research assistant. Then, you can mention something like you're willing to share more information about yourself. Something like I'm available to meet over Zoom to chat, or I'm happy to send over a CV or resume if you're interested. This is basically making yourself available, letting them know that you have more to say. At this phase, during the cold email, don't bother attaching files. I think opening files is a little bit suspicious. Finally, just sign off with something. Something easy like, hope to hear from you soon, or thanks in advance for your time. Both of these are safe phrases and will always be fine. Finally, just sign your name and hit send. Now, if your email looks generic and super boring, that's okay. The cold email isn't really the place to show your personality. You'll have that opportunity if they call you in for an interview. The cold email is just the introductory step. To be honest, don't spend too much time on each email. The goal is to really just get your name out there to all the people whose research you might be interested in. While you might think that these professors are too busy to respond to your emails, the truth is they're always looking for people to work with, new scientists to train, and they love talking about their science. Take advantage of this. All right, just a couple more things about cold emails. One, be ready for rejection. Many labs simply can't afford to hire new researchers. Maybe they just physically don't have any room. And this is the main reason why you're not gonna get a hit in your search. And it's absolutely not your fault. There's nothing you can do about this one, so just move on. 
two, keep it short and sweet. This saves both you and them time. Most likely, again, there's just no funds. You may or may not get paid for your time. Typically, research programs for undergraduates end up being volunteer positions. But after you finish your undergraduate degree, you should absolutely get paid for your research. After graduation, really avoid working for free. For me, these kinds of emails work twice. I got my first research position after undergrad through a cold email, and I actually got my postdoc through a cold email as well. All right, thanks for joining me for these tips about cold emails. Did the cold email work for you? Go ahead and drop a comment below. If you're brave enough, share your exact wording below. Or are you a PI? Go ahead and let students know that you're willing and happy to read their cold emails. Thanks and have a great day.